the majority of mice don't really have a grippy coating. Most people don't really mind, but sweaty triarchs like myself hate it when our sweaty hands cause us to lose grip. That's why in this video I'll go over all the major grip tapes you can get for your mouse, and decide which one's best. The grips I'll compare in this video are the Hotline V2, Lizard Skins, Bad Version, BTL Gen 3, and the grips included in the box of the G Pro Superlight. In terms of looks, the stock Logitech grips are the most basic, they are black and have a very subtle pattern. The Hotline V2 are a bit more greyish and have a more defined pattern. The Lizard Skins and the BTL grips are available in a variety of different colorways. The fit of all the grips were very good, except for the stock Logitech grips surprisingly enough. They were too small and they just make me mad whenever I look at them. They are super thin as well, which can be a good thing, but these slightly fold and there's nothing I can do about it. The lizard skin I got are the bed grip version, which has these like bigger pores than the hockey version. Not sure which one would be better. They are 0.5mm thick, which is thicker than the BTL at 0.4 and thinner than the Hotline V2s at 0.6. In terms of firmness, the BTL grips are so thin you don't feel any squish. The Hotlines are quite firm and the lizard skins are just a tiny bit squishy. Alright, now let's compare the grippiness of them all. I'm going to demonstrate this with a coin test, to see how well the coin sticks to the tape. First, let's show a mouse without any grip tape. As you can see, the coin doesn't stick to it at all, and falls right off. The stock grip tape of the G Pro Wireless does a slightly better job, but as you'll see when I show the other ones, this grip tape is simply said, trash. I'm sorry dude, but no way I'm putting this on my $150 mouse. Changing these with BTL grips? Insane improvement. I can pretty much rotate the mouse 180 degrees and the coin still sticks to it. Same story with the lizard skins, even when shaking the mouse, the coin stays on securely. The hotlines don't do as well, but they're definitely better than the stock Logitech ones or no grips at all. Describing the feeling of them all, the stock Logitech ones feel like tape. I think they forgot the grip. The hotlines feel the driest out of them all. If you want to drag click or that type of shit, this one would probably be best. The lizard skins feel sort of more slimy, as it doesn't feel as dry, but it grabs more onto your fingers. The BTL grips are sort of an in-between, not as slimy as the lizard skins and not as dry as the hotlines. My favorite out of all of these are the BTL grips. Yeah! They offer the best balance of grippiness, dryness, and they are nice and thin. You can't really go wrong with any of those though, in my opinion, apart from the Logitech stock grips. Oh, and by the way, I bought all of mine from iTech Tech, and I fixed a discount for you guys. So use code PP at checkout. Link in the description. Keep in mind that thicker grips like the bad version lizard skins and the hotlines do slightly change up the shape of the mouse. Even with BTL grips, the side buttons are harder to use. Holy shit dude, I only just noticed the BTL grips come with these things for the side buttons. I believe the lizard skins didn't, the hotlines did though. Anyways, hope this was helpful, don't forget to like and sub. Near me. Okay, okay, I go. Another one. Two more, two more. Got him. 